Hello YouTube. Today we'll be discussing about environment variables and a path variable. People who have some kind of exposure to programming languages or setting up some tools like MySQL or Oracle or some kind of tools, you would have come across a step, prerequisite step saying that please set your path variable. So why do these programming languages or tools expect you to set up the path variable? So that is exactly what we're going to cover today. And I'm going to show you what is the significance of those variables. So to begin with, uh, if I want to open up an application, let's say a text editor like Notepad++, what would I generally do? I would just say, I would click on um, Windows button and then I'll say Notepad++ and boom, the application is open. So in order for me to basically um, click and open the application, system is basically what it is doing is, it goes to the path where the application is installed. So it goes to the path, C program x86 and uh, notepad++. It goes to the particular path. And in that path, it sees if there is executable and then it executes that particular program. That is what exactly the operating system is doing it for us. When you click on that particular icon or the shortcut. So how would you do this uh, from command prompt? So in order for us to open up an application from command prompt, uh, we have to go to CMD and uh, we have to go into this directory. Currently my command prompt is in the, my users directory so from there i have to say cd change directory and give the path of the program enter and look up which application and uh, notepad plus plus and, and it opens up so basically you will have the same effect you will either clicking on it or going to the path and then executing the program name or typing the program name has the same effect so if you have to use command prompt every time um, and uh, you have to it, it is a mandatory step to remember the path where the application is installed so would it not be nice if you don't have to remember the path and just give the program name and then program executes so that is where the path variable comes into picture so here like what I mean is if I have if I'm in my let's say parent directory if I'm in my C directory and if I say notepad plus plus it won't work because my application is not in my C directory it is in C program files x86 uh, notepad plus plus that is structured uh, folder structure where it is actually physically present so while when you set up the path variable you don't have to remember the path and the operating system remembers the path for you all you have to remember is the name of the program so let's see how that happens so for us to check that out first we need to uh, set up the path variable to bring up path variables we have to um, bring up environment variables environment variables click on this and edit variables i mean en environment variables and uh, go to the path variable so basically you notice two things here one is uh, variables for psi and and the system variables so my name is psi and i'm logged into the system so it is showing my uh, variables here and it is showing the variables for all the users here that is the difference between these two paths. So I'll just go ahead and set up the path the, here and for all users. So I'll say path, I click select the path. And when I say edit, it shows all the folders that we have previously set up for system to identify programs. Now we are going to set up Notepad++ too. So in order to do that, click new and uh, paste. So I, have, I had this uh, path copied, so I'm just pasting the path and say okay and okay and okay. 
Now, uh, it won't still work because every time you set the path variable, it expects you to restart the uh, system. So let's restart and uh, see what if it works. So I just restarted my system. So let's check out if the path variable that we set before restarting the system actually works. So to check that out, go to command prompt and uh, say, let me go back to the parent directory. And let me see issue a node pad plus plus. So it works. So what is happening behind the scenes is uh, when I give a command, Windows basically goes and searches in the C directory here or any directory that you are in and sees if the executable exists. If the executable does not exist in that particular directory, then it goes to the path variable, which is here and it goes and searches all the folders that we have mentioned here and in the last we have the notepad plus plus folder so it goes to that folder and then sees if there is a program called notepad plus plus and then just executes that particular file so that is the significance of path variable so now the question is what are environment variables and how are they different from path variable so basically path variable is one type of environment variables. So you can think of uh, path variable as a subset of environment variables. M uh, but most programming languages expect you to set some kind of an environment variable like Java home or uh, Maven home or something like that. So we're just going to do a similar thing with our notepad exercise so that we'll get familiar with uh, what environment variables are too. So to begin with, let's go to environment variables. And the reason why it is working is because we included that in the path. So we'll go ahead and uh, delete it from path and say, okay. And we're going to add a new environment variable and include that environment variable in the path variable. So let's do that. So to begin with, let's say new and I'll paste the URL for the path of notepad and say note pad underscore home okay and i say okay and now here we'll go and edit the path and uh, add a new and now instead of giving the actual path we'll be giving the environment variable here it should be note pad underscore home and uh, say okay and so this should be the one okay so plus okay and let me restart and see if it still works so i just restarted my system let's uh, bring up the command prompt and uh, say notepad plus plus enter so it still works so the small change that we did in environment variables is that we instead of uh, giving the actual path in the path variable we gave an environment variable so it is nothing but just a variable whose value we have defined so this is the path variable and the value we have defined in notepad plus plus here so this is the this is the variable and the value is this and uh, we have mentioned this variable in the path variable so all the discussion that we did about path variable is still true it is just that we are adding one more variable which is the notepad home which is nothing but the environment variable to the path variable and everything else still is the same so that ends our quick session i hope you found this quick session useful so stay tuned to our channel to get uh, more such tips and tricks and some programming stuff that is coming along. Thank you.